some news with you. Me and Kathleen Osmore are gonna do a collaboration video, and that's what you're watching right now. We're each gonna do a painting, and then we're gonna show the results, and we're going to sort of react to each other's choices as we go. Um, sort of like a picture in a picture sort of thing. And I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Uh, Kathleen Osmore of Cause Creations is one of my favorite artists out there in the community. And we've gotten together a couple of times. We have each other's paintings. We're big fans of each other. And it's fun to finally work together on something. We'll go with a color scheme, since you're letting me choose, of um, my go-to favorites ultramarine blue, iridescent gold, and um, then that'll probably be my background, and then I'll swipe with more gold and blue, and maybe a little bit of indigo, and some burnt sienna, and some iridescent pearl, all in the golden fluid line, because they're the best. All right, so Kathleen, let's do this. All right, hey Kathleen, good morning. <laughs> Good, I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome. Um, I have had a really good time watching you paint, but I think it'll be fun for us to talk about it at the same time while we watch it together. Sounds great, sweetie. A little nervous, Teach, a little nervous. No, this will be fun. Um, so first of all, I'm watching you coat your edges here and I have tried that technique and it has been really helpful because I'm always fighting it going, not wanting to go off the edge. So I really appreciate you showing that. Um, and your little dance at the beginning was super awesome. I love your energy. <laughs> You're always having so much fun. I can tell you love to paint. It's my happy place, darling. Yeah. All right. So this is me painting. Um, <laughs> so I guess I started with the ultramarine and you did the indigo to start. There's a little yep. difference there. Yeah. Yeah. But we were close. I got the gold going on the bottom half, just like mm -hmm. you do. Great mm -hmm. minds think alike. Yeah. And I, I tilted my canvas here like you talked about doing to help the extra run off instead of puddle. That's been super helpful as well. Yeah, yeah it also creates some really cool effects sometimes when paints run together. So it's fun. There we go. There you are again. I know. I had I so much you're... fun. I was, listening, I was listening to the best music in the background. That's why you see those feet are moving every once in a while. I think that our videos would be so much more popular if we could share the music we listen to. But that darn copyright, right? We'll have yeah, to. I know. Look at that massive gallon of golden gold. Oh, my God. I am so jealous of you. I commit to mixing up some paint and I, it, it lasts. The only problem I have with mixing up such large quantities and I will tell everybody is that um, I do get sometimes little dried bits in there that I have to pick out cause it'll like dry around the, the cap, you know and then when I pour it that can fall in but otherwise it stays good forever. That's fantastic. I get the, the little stick things going on, on my Floetrol back 800. I always have to do that. Mm -hmm. But I buy the handy strainer from Lowe's, those sun strainers, and I strain everything before. I, I've been straining my Floetrol. I've been straining my Floetrol, but not my GAC 800. Do you also strain your GAC 800? I do. When I mix them together, I throw uh, my my container is marked to where my flow trawl line is, and then um, my next line that I mark with tape is my GAC. And my strainer is already in there, so I just pour the GAC in there as well. Use because the strainers you can only use once, but like a package of four or five is like ninety cents at Lowe's. So I can't wait to see what you've done here. <laughs> I'm so excited. I like that you've Those broken up the line. were amazing. Yeah. I like that. I, I, <laughs> you know, I use them a lot. 
but yeah. I really like that you've broken up the line here on and and you're you're playing around with a different approach to the the background color. Yeah, well, it was kind of a mistake. I was gonna put the blue on the whole. And as I was doing that, I'm like, no, let's get some gold going on down here. So, um, or I initially would not have done the sides the whole way, but it worked out. It was fun. It took me forever. I mean, it just um, took me forever to cover that canvas. Here. What size is that? It looks really big. You know what? Um, you would ask me to paint on a certain size, but I didn't have the canvas. I think it's a 20 by 20, Courtney. Okay. Which is my favorite size to paint. I on. do. I, it's funny. I really like painting on square as well, either the, the really elongated ones or square, but not yeah. the, yeah, not the standard proportion for some reason. Yeah. I love There's, painting. Okay. okay. You know, your paints look a little bit more fluid than mine. You put a little bit more GAC 800. What's your ratio on that? Um, three, three parts GAC, two parts Floetrol, and one part paint. Okay. okay. I'm about, um, I'm like 75% Floetrol to 25% GAC 800. I tried upping my GAC a little bit, but when I started using the golden paints, which are so fluid, the GAC 800 is more fluid than the Floetrol. And um, it made my paint more fluid than what I know. You're twiddling your thumb there. <laughs> You're like, nervous. what should I do? I'm painting with my teach, my mentor. I was, I was nervous, but I, I was having fun with it. It's funny how um, I, I know it's not, it doesn't make for good video, but like we do have to sort of pause and think sometimes. It's yeah. not very interesting, but you got to. On my videos, um, there are times when it takes me probably an hour and 45 minutes to finish, and then I condense it a lot of times to about 15 minutes, but I stand back and look at it all the time. I also photograph it, and I have a big comfy chair in my workspace. I photograph it. I sit back, and then I look at my pictures to see what I see in the pictures. That gives me kind of a a different perspective on it. Here comes that swipe. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, I tell you, that's that's the money shot right there, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yours is so silky. Okay, so back to our re recipe. You you said is seventy five percent flow trial, twenty five percent um, GAC, but then uh, you take that mixture and you pour how much paint in there? Is it half and half? Yeah, 50% paint, 50% pouring medium. If I'm using heavier body metallic, I generally add a little bit more pouring medium to it. I almost never add water though. Water, though. Almost never. Mm -hmm. The Deco Art Metallic give just a little bit of water to them to thin them down. And it's hard sometimes because when I'm mixing, when I'm painting with both my golden paints and heavier body paints, the goldens are so fluid that it's difficult to get the other paints to the right consistency without the sinking, you know? Yeah. So, challenge. Um, so, so based on those ratios, it sounds like you're using a lot more actual pigment paint to pouring medium than I am, which might be another reason that yours or that mine are more fluidy. But honestly, I think sometimes it, they're too, mine are too runny, like it causes problems. And I think that's why I'm fighting the puddling issue and all that. Well, um, what's your ratio? What's your ratio of PM to paint when you're using your golden uh, products? So then if it's three to two to one, then it's five parts pouring medium to one part paint. So that's like wow. yeah, only one sixth of my mixture is paint. So that but I mean with a golden, 
the the pigment load is so much more that it's not like it doesn't get overpowered and and it doesn't weaken the amount of pigment that's so pretty it looks like blue fire in your swipe there and i i hey. gotta say I know we're we're not really even paying attention to our paintings right here, but I gotta say I'm really impressed with your ability dancing. to so impressed with my dancing. Yes, I am impressed with your dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but also, oh look, there she goes. Yeah, girl, get it. <laughs> I've got some I wish you could hear the music. Mm -hmm. um, I'm impressed with your level of precision and neatness and how you can get the the paper towel to to line up um, just perfectly. And I know that's just a matter of being careful. I'm just not careful. My mom always said I'm a bull in a china shop and I am with painting as well. It's like if I don't know, but I, I like how you got different sizes of paper towel and it looks nice. And I like that, what you just did there with that little um, interrupted swipe that stops. I think that adds some interest. And I think you're about well, to do another. Yeah, the reason I did that, and, and you'll, you'll see it a better one, was I was yes. trying to get your, I was trying to get your little, like, flippy thing that comes up oh, when yeah. you swipe the little string. Yeah. And if you look closely, I got yeah. it. I wasn't going to touch it. Yeah, yeah, you got one right there. Yeah. Have you looked at it up close? A question, Courtney. Um, you don't ever torture paintings. No, but I do keep a heat gun um, handy in case I see air bubbles, and I'll pop them with air bubbles. Is that what you're doing, mm -hmm. just to to? So I feel like most people use torches for bringing the silicone to the surface and I don't mm -hmm. have any silicone, so I don't need it and you don't either. Um, no, but no. I mean, certainly it would help to pop any air bubbles, but I got, I use the heat gun sometimes for that. Yeah, I use the torch. For, I mix my paints every morning before I paint. The only thing that I usually pre-mix is my pouring mediums because I use so much of it. So from the stirring, there's a good amount of air bubbles in there. So I torch for yeah. air bubbles, but I have also torched. I recently did a cloud pour and it was really cool. And I wanted it to look like it was in the galaxy with stars around it. So I took my torch and I put an over torch in a ring around the ring pour and it looked like a galaxy of stars. So what it did is it brought up paint from the bottom up to the top. It was weird. Either that or it just pushed the top down through the bottom. I don't know what happened, but um, you can make some cool effects with your torch if you over torch, but you gotta be careful. <laughs> I've messed around. around um, okay, so multiple things. First of all, back to your painting. I love that you tilted it and got that jagged line that sort of mimics what's going on at the top with the gold and the blue. Um, oh, no. um, so with the cloud pour, I can't wait to watch your video on the cloud pour because I don't know anything about that stuff. And then the other thing I wanted to say was the torch. Um, the only time I've ever played around with a torch was when I was doing resin because you have to you have to torch the air bubbles out with the resin. And um, I, I because, again, I'm so messy, I ended up like uh, I ended up ruining three torches with resin. I would get resin all over the torch and then it would quit. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so messy. But. That's gorgeous. I love the contrast that you got there with the dark blue. Thank you. It's just, I, I wanted the upper line to be a little bit more jagged, like the center line, but uh -huh. I didn't want to tilt it to mess up my center line. So I ended up jagging it up kind of manually. But yeah, these were just wonderful colors that you, you picked. Courtney, I get to pick the next one. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. I, I need to break out of my comfort zone because I really only have like two color schemes right now. It's either this or my uh, my silver, silvers and browns and gold. 
Don't put gold in there. Gold in there. And those power schemes are at such opposite ends of things you go from this bold and bright look at those drips i love your drips girl oh you're yeah it again. You um well pearl? yeah because i really like the halo effect you get with that horizon right there in that one corner so i'm trying to get it in the other spot too how it looks like it's glowing uh-huh it's beautiful so i'm trying to You've got Didn't. more of that, that copper color going on than I do. Um, I wanted mine to come up a little bit more, but um, I was a little shy with it because I was afraid it would eat up my painting. So I went a little shy. I wish I had gone back and added another line of that. Uh, that um, what was our red? Our copper? The burnt color? sienna. Burnt sienna. Yeah. I, it's it's tricky sometimes it really adds the perfect amount of oomph but mm -hmm. other times it can take over i don't know it's tricky yeah. look at that yours. one I, I i love your burnt sienna coming through here right on your line and over on the left side what are you doing are you noodling are you noodling i think, I think i'm just thinking look at me i'm just staring at it <laughs> <laughs> uh, it might be done i don't know I added the extra white line and didn't really swipe it. And what? I think that I think I might be done. Am I done? You. Oh, I'm. Uh, you're um, so hmm. I might just be tilting to see if there's puddling. I think I'm done. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Were you pleased? Yeah, I'm happy with this. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I like, this is sort of upside down of the orientation. We'll look at it again in a bit. I really like your little blue tendrils that you pulled down with the, um, with the popsicle sticks. That's fun. Well, I was trying to mimic what was on there at the bottom of the camera. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, here's yeah. the you can see I more of that copper had come through like it did on your... It's hard to predict. Um, I did another painting that's more like just without the gold, what you have down here at the bottom where it's just the pearl and the blue and the brown. And it mm -hmm. it almost, it I don't know, it, it almost needs the gold to counteract the brown. Otherwise it looks too red, doesn't it? Yeah. Gold is one of my challenging colors. A lot of people are really into that extreme 24 karat gold that's out there by Deco Art, and it just it's it's a bossy color. It takes mm -hmm. over everything, and it'll creep into your bedroom at night if you're not careful because <laughs> that gold is just, just so in your face, you know. And 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 a lot of times when I use it. I'll turn my head and I'll look back at my canvas after I paint it, and that gold jumps out at me so much that it takes my eye away from so many other colors. The, the yellows and the gold and the blue here work, oh, I think so pretty together. Yeah, but that sounds distracting, what you're describing, yeah. Yeah. Yellow is a bold color. It, 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 it jumps mm -hmm. out. If you look across a landscape, the yellow in that landscape is going to catch your eye before any mm -hmm. other color, other than white. I think white is probably the brightest of all colors out there, and one of my favorites. Yours, too, that iridescent pearl. It's like mm. it's very hard for you to do a painting without it. Oh, you scared me when you tilted it to the side there. I was like, oh, no, you're going to mess up your little um dribblies if i did that with my really fluid uh recipe it would totally make those sag and waver but yours is definitely thicker yeah look you're dancing you're done yeah <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah that's gorgeous yeah. nope you're like nope i think we're done Reason? Yeah, I've got some dried shots uh, coming up, and and I think I've got some finished shots of yours too before it was dried coming up. We can look at the 
I got, I found That's one cute. footage of me dancing. It's short, but I wiggle my butt for a second. All right, so this is mine, some close-ups. Look at that uh, top. Oh my God, does that play well in there? Courtney? Right there where it's on top of the, the pearl. I love that spot right there. Yeah, it's beautiful. And, and I love your drips. I just love your drips. Yeah, me too. Um, Sometimes they look like little flowers. I've got a painting coming up where it was like an explosion of drips and I actually did sort of make them into part of the landscape. I can't wait to show that. All right, so there's a side shot. Just get, um, I like the contrast of the dark blue with the white along the, the middle there. It looks so silky, so smooth. Beautiful, honey. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have a blast. Yeah, me too. We'll definitely have to do this again. And I think that the viewers will enjoy hearing our conversation about what works for us and what we're what we're learning from each other. And and we don't have to like steal ideas from each other. We are learning from each other and it's great, right? 100%. Like, you know, that's really important. Important and I am grateful for that. And there's some shots of your finished piece. I love that soft, jagged line in the middle. It gives your eye a place to rest. It's mm -hmm. so pretty. It's, it's fun. They're, they're similar, but they're so different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. And I tell you, most of the time, if I try to recreate the same painting the exact same way, it's going to be so different too, right? Like, you, that's what's great about this, this whole medium is it's unpredictable you can sort of swing it in a direction but it also does what it wants i know and that's part of what makes it fun i agree Teach, i'm so glad you invited me to do this honey thank you so much thank you for participating in all right time, girl. i pick the colors the next colors time next though time Deal? okay sounds all good right. you got you got anything in mind let me think on it. I'll noodle. I'll noodle over it and let you know. All right. Sounds good. Right. Okay. Happy talk to you later, girl. All right. Bye. Bye.